saying. Let's go. I just argued like a pirate. He I'm just, sorry. yeah. If y'all ain't know off camera, he just argued like a pirate. But, arg! Welcome I back, y'all. Again. This is another Dots View podcast, aka NWI Nerd Quick Intelligence. You know what we do. We got a special guest with us today, my homeboy Matt. Yeah, dig. He looks like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> he do. He got. He Put your hands on your face like this and scream, oh! sir. Can you do it? <laughs> I have stories about Michael. Culkin. God almighty. <laughs> he got stories. <laughs> I'm good with ER. So today, <laughs> today, y'all, we decided we gonna go with a little um um some more of a little somber mode. And we're going to talk about uh, financial things. We know everybody is going through the stress of, of the big C word. And we understand. It's not the big C going. word I'm thinking of, but go ahead, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> God <laughs> almighty, I'm, I'm hard up right now. Go ahead. And so, y'all, we are talking about money. And what would you do if you had a million dollars? So, me and my boy, Matt, we were talking earlier about some things like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see you see the pockets of E, man. That's just how we feel right now. My, in, my initials right are right right EMT. You know what that stands for? Mm-hmm. MT pockets. MT pockets. So we we talking about what would you do if you had a million dollars right now? So this podcast will go uh, a little different boy, from how we usually do. I'm already so stressing. We're going to go ahead or Marty. I'm going to go ahead. Smell it. Smell it. You smell stress. See, you smell stress up. Smell that? Stress. Smell it. it ain't even money. It's stress. <laughs> so, y'all, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead. I was trying to get shirt off in less than 30 I, seconds. I, I, I put on, I put on my off. I put on my axe. I just smelled it, and I put on my axe. I, I This should be a commercial for axe is what it should be, because I, I did use it. So this is what we're going to do with this one here. We're going to ask you a question. Is there, yes. Is there an answer in that word? I like that. Is it, or is it just the fragrance? It's just the fragrance. It's the I like that. Uh, fragrance. Your question. Uh-huh. Perfect segue. E. Uh-huh. He getting better, y'all. Love. He getting better, y'all. Y'all see him. Y'all see my baby. Say I was e. off the chain last week. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hashtag E. We love you. No. Phoenix Linda. Hashtag Eric shut up. Thank you, Linda. You're an Linda American Eric beauty, baby. He you're like an American hashtag. beauty and you're a cutie. Love you. E. So we're going to do it this way, y'all. I am going to format this one in sort of a talk show host type of way. And we are going to get views and opinions with a twist of Bud Light. Put a twist of Bud Light. Put a twist of Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Because you deserve what every individual should enjoy regularly. That's what you should do. Like my boy Matt said. So yeah, y'all, we're going to do this one sort of like question format. Uh, talk show host like. And I'm going to ask, and I'm also going to be answering what it would be like if we had a million dollars. Now we gonna oh do my it. God. We're gonna do it uniquely. We're going to answer it from each side. Front. That means basically if we had a whole bunch of money, what we would do when we um basically our heads got too big. We 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 going to do the middle. The middle ground basically, which is our heads is a little bit big, but we still understand what you know what I'm saying the value of everything else is. And we're gonna go with the other side. Well, we got enough money to help people. So, I'm going to start off with well, our guest, Matt, you know what I'm saying? Because we already, E, uh, already good. So, we're going to start off with my boy, Matt. Matt, I want to ask you, what would you do in the off-the-cliff form? This is off-the-cliff form. Basically, taking your money and just acting like you king or queen for the lady. He so already told me he's done that before. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, how did you react when you had... Um, uh, decent amount of money and you know you can do things how did you feel and how did you react it still freaks me okay he felt like evil Knievel that's what that's that's kind of the story I got from him earlier man you know he went he went like me we're all pretty wild guys some some of my comments weren't weren't me to have a goddamn head in me Mm. (laughs) but I don't not that I'm aware yeah yeah anyway yeah wow It'll freak you out, and it, because I mean, everybody that I'm aware of—I mean, I wasn't—I didn't come into this world with a silver spoon in my mouth at all. You know? Yes, yeah, me neither. Everything was just day to day and hand to mouth. Yep. And that, that's just the norm. You know? it wasn't just us; it was everybody else around. So there wasn't, there wasn't too much abnormality in that sense. But yep, working heat. Yeah. So it, 
That's what I love about us. We're just local boys, and I think we all had just a regular middle class upbringing. Yeah. And things like that. We all been through our stresses, and we all been through this and that and the other. And uh, here middle, we are now, talking our, to you, baby. Our middle class upbringing was huge, unthought of. In a lot right. Of, a lot of, a lot of the '70s and the Ooh. '80s were totally different, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you now, that. Now, any basically, any I can't even world. understand what's going on out or there any, now. Any but, part of the world. Yeah, yeah, like, it's crazy. Like, um, when's the last time you heard a goddamn building explode? Yeah. What, the, well, like, what happened in Baltimore? Saying, you mean? No, I'm saying just in, in, in general. In the last month, man, how many gunshots and how many fucking oh, buildings? Have you heard what go between Chicago and Portland? No, no, and... here, locally. No, not here. We've been doing good here. I, actually, you bring up a great point because I was actually thinking about that earlier. Sought after. Orlando, I believe, has done pretty well. Yeah, I think. In general, yeah. All right, which, 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 as far as all that chaotic mess, right? True. We don't, like have, we don't have a lot of that going on. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Way to go, Orlando. You should have sang. Orlando. Damn it, man! You missed so, your cue. What was you? What was you thinking again? Let, let him talk. <laughs> you going off on your rants again? Right. Not too just, bad. Just a little simple existence. It's, it's sort of. Yeah. There's so many places in the world, but us being right now is. Yeah. Freedom. There's no gunfire. No, no yeah. It's, it's walk doing outside. all right. We're actually trying it's to forge ahead, ahead, right? We're forging ahead pretty good. Things yeah. are opening. Oh, yeah. Good. Anyway, so to eliminate that, if all you had to do is wake up, take care of yourself, don't get something that makes you itch. You know, Damn it, man. feed or, yourself, make yourself happy, or yeah. anything that rhymes with have, itch. Yeah, or, yeah. But, yes. But you don't have to provide for that. All you have to Good do one. is wake up. Good interjection there. Do it. You don't have to worry about how that happens, where yeah. that where that effort came from. Absolutely. You know, all the all the worry and stress and all the all the strife of it is limited. Strife. So mm-hmm. all you're left Powerful with, word. all you're left with is your base, just you and whatever you wanted. Mm, wow. So basically, what yeah. you're saying is, uh, when you don't when you have uh, where it comes from. You, when you had your amount of money, you basically were saying all um basically your attitude was like, Hey, it's here, it's I got it, I let's that. go. No, I didn't know what to do. Okay, E. I had what no idea what to do. Oh wow, how did I know it was coming to me? And got, and, and got, finally, yeah. Dion. Well to, well I just didn't want to uh, go ahead. Freak, I, I freaked out in a sense that like, I don't want to get hurt, I don't want to fuck up, I don't know this is the, I can easily fuck this off. Yes. Yes, and it's that fear right there. Yeah. Did that fear make you? Was, um, did just, it make you more cautious of the money that you had, or did it make you more in tune with the feeling that you were having at that moment? There's not the right word for it. It's the first word. No, no, <laughs> in tune with the feeling. The feeling. No, not fear. Were you in tune with that feeling? Whatever feeling that you had when you had that amount of money, was you in tune with that feeling, or was you like, whoa, I'm out, I'm outside of my body. Maybe a combination of both. Yeah. yeah. Was it both? Collaboration of shit. Wow, there we go. So Didn't when, you say that like earlier? Was you said something about well, the same way? It's a different story. But I wanna make I want I wanna make sure that Matt's like done with his because yeah, his was very interesting. Yeah, really. I like I don't, we get back we gonna get back to Matt. Matt is a very interesting person, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Back to, Eve, what absolutely. was what was your feelings and emotions when you had a set amount of money? These guys are so nice. <laughs> we love man. You know what the neat thing yeah, is? Cheers, th- you know what the neat yeah, thing do. is? Cheers, everybody. He just he just said that and y'all heard it. But you know what the neat thing is? For you Spanish people out there, es verdad. That means Not. it's true, baby. It's, it's true. Bueno. It's true. Gracias. Muy bueno. So mm. yeah. So with what? Donde esta que linda? Where's my beautiful woman? Come on, Spanish baby. Lesson, sir. Oh, so, I, when you had your amount of money, okay. how did you feel? Well, I'll tell you what. Number one, I earned the hell out of it, and I'm real happy about that. I've been working since I've been 14, and uh, I was in a certain industry, and I really did build up to some prominence, but if you know me from previous podcasts, you know I'm a little bit of a loose cannon, just to be straight. And uh, what I did, truthfully, because I think Dion knows me well enough, I shared, man. Good man. I shared and shared some more, and guess what? It was fun for me, fun for them, fun for everybody, no matter what. What, you know, what was going on? Hey, we did it, and we had it. And uh, it wasn't, you know, I, I'm not talking about mansions and Lamborghinis, not none of that dumb shit. I told you, I'm a loose cannon. So, how so I you, just totally misused it, just to be yeah, quite honest. Yeah, how did you go over the edge I, with it? Well, well, how do you think you went over the edge with it? 
Because other people don't. Think I was with I, I, after I got divorced. I was with a girl for seven years whom I loved very dearly and exactly. whatever. But we just didn't work out, so we left amicably. Understand? Why not? But uh, that was at the height of my earning right there. And if you can imagine when you get away from your girl, and mm -hmm. I was raising two uh, her children. They were my stepkids. Yeah. And I know about um, that. all of a sudden, my world went silent. And I rented a house. I was right in town. I was there for the kids, and you know, duh, but my world went silent. When I came home, there was no more, you know, nothing taking care of the things that I was used to taking care of. And you know, I had a lot of friends and stuff like that. But then you just by yourself. So guess what? You're going out, drinking, doing all the stuff, kind of empty, and whatever. Right? And I was making an ass of money. I just really was. And it wasn't that I. That it got to my head at all because I took care of my family and my friends. I, it, yeah, it that, was, that's it, was, it. And I made sure we always had a good time, even in this little town of Seabrain. It was a boy. I used to catch gators with my bare hands. Me and my boy George, shout out to George right there. Bare hands, boy. Joe LaRosa. I mean, those are my peeps down there. I'm probably leaving a couple out, but that's cool. So that's pretty much. And I knew the gravy train was gonna uh, and so um, later. I, uh, was gonna run out. We talked about it earlier. Yeah. Remember? I said I knew it was, and then at that point I had enough confidence in myself to say, well, I'll get in another capacity, and like whatever, and I found the capacity that, that I'm in now, and the newfound one that Dion's been inspiring me about, seriously, this man's been extremely instrumental. Getting, and, um, getting where you gotta go. Yeah, there's a very serious feeling associated with it, and it makes my heart go nuts. I'm loving it. And I even love Phoenix Linda, even though she's hashtag Eric shut up. That means yeah. I love you. And no. you know I sent you a text, Linda. You know I sent you a text. Said, I said, hey, I you love you. You sent you a text. Absolutely, I, I did. And by the way, you're as cute as strawberry shortcake, honey. You know you, you did, really man. are. So I, I, between Matt and the E story, I'm going to combine that with, with one of my own. Um, it was a, that was I like the, both of y'all stories, both, both, both. Uh, great story. I'm, I'm going to sew it up with, with this right here on, on the memories. I'm going to call this segment memories. Um, memories. Me. Memories. Look, I did it. I when did I had, it. Instead of Dion, I did mm, it. Oh, that was had, fun. When I had that a little fun. bit of money, um, <laughs> my, my main thing with me is when I get a certain amount of money, I want to help people out to help me out because it's just ingrained in me from not having that much. So when I get a, a thorough amount of something, I want to make sure the people around me and the Absolutely. people that have given me a, just a little bit, Absolutely. I get them a whole mountain because um, that little bit helped me out mentally more than a lot of people know. So when I had my money and I went over the edge um, and pushed people away, like I, you know, I've never really had that much money, but I had enough money to the point where I thought I was doing better than most people, but that was a key to opening the door that I didn't know I needed to open, which was humility. And awesome. um, when you open that door of humility from having a whole bunch of something to having a whole bunch of nothing, what? Yeah. you understand the middle section, yes, which sir. is what we're going to jump into right now. After going from having... Oh, so you don't, um, you don't yeah. Yes. After having went through what you went through, man, with the, the bad transition to money, the next time you had no. a, a certain amount of money. Well, the reason I got anything was there was a horrible thing that took place. Yeah. So from tragedy came triumph. Wait, okay. No. Money. Yeah, and. I wouldn't and, call that triumph. And no, 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 no. Not, not triumph. I mean, um, if the middle ground. When it's still you there, got over what you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So your your middle ground. I'm still trying to get a handle on it. I've been more than. I think more than. Oh no, it's great. I want to hear his stories and. Oh no, it's like it, maybe maybe like oh, no, the volume. Yeah, like he's like, he totally perfect. No, project. Yeah. Oh no, he totally perfect. Because we want to hear you, baby. Oh no, you, you know what I'm it. talking about? Yeah, yeah really absolutely. Good. I'm just looking out for yeah. us. That's all. I want it to be great. Today, because that's what we do. We I want to be great. You can ask any of them. Great together, by the way. That's a big word. So I've, I've, I've done more. I've, 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 yeah, I don't. The way I think these days, man, it's fucking totally different than the way Yeah. Uh, there's, there's freedom, there's, there's anxiety, there's a lot of shit wrapped up in the entire split second. Is that like a burrito? It yeah. could very well be. Yes, Damn it, man. A shit burrito. Go ahead. Yeah, it's wrapped. Uh, back in the 80s, 
rhyme. And I discovered these women they used to eat a lot of LST, man. They talked about this thing called the cheeseburger of life. Ooh. Damn it. Ooh. Uh, I know. It sounds like Jimmy Ooh, Buffett sang that, that song. Jimmy, did that. Jimmy Buffett? Cheeseburger of life. Did, 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 did Jimmy that. Buffett sing that song? No. Well, oh, that was for Cheeseburger in Paradise. I, oh, this I is the Cheeseburger of life. I like that. I lived on St. Croix. I actually went there in that restaurant. Awesome. Numerous awesome. Cheeseburger Jimmy life. Buffett's Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. Cheeseburger of life. Cheeseburger of life. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. So, essentially what it is. Cheeseburger. Layers of shit. <laughs> what? What? This guy's got great stories, ladies and gentlemen. Love. We're loving it. I use adult words that I used to. I learned. Oh, about. it's getting that sloppy. I, that I learned on HBO as a young child. Oh, thank you. Know. Thank you, you HBO, for the education. George Carlin. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Love him. So, hamburger life, man. It's basically just a layers wow. of shit. Layers of Each shit. Each one does different oh my shit. Gosh. Yeah. Shit sandwich. Yes. Oh. Each layer of shit. Now, I'm sports like there's a lot more too, but. When I discovered these women talking about this, okay, I was a, I was a young man in a different different world, a different time. Some things may have taken place. Yeah, dude, you are surreal, so, man. You're like surreal. He is. I'm loving your stories. To be caught, please Did go it? ahead. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. No, I'm being serious. Yeah, God damn it. Eric is. I'm I'm engaged here, folks. Yeah. I am really engaged. I'll stop Eric from being there. No, it's fine. I love him. You yeah. know what? I love him. Actually, I actually have a prop for that. I'm going to have to go get it, but go ahead. Unfortunately, this the way, the amount of damage I've done to my fucking body from the last 40 some years is kind of like thinking sporadic images. It's everything's almost like robot chicken. Yes, but we don't feel you make it stronger. He <laughs> said, <laughs> like robot chicken. Shout out to Seth Green. We like robot it. chicken. Robot chicken. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's adult show on uh, yeah, on an Adult Swim or something. That I don't, I don't watch that stuff. I don't even know that about it. I'm stupid. Shout out to Adult Swim. So, oh, yeah. but basically, oh, what I'm Matt was saying, you, you, know you know what? I'm getting to sleep. You know what? I'm not eating yet today. See, eat. Yeah, that's that's something that's he needs a donut. So yeah, no, I'm gonna we need some king crab. Dog. Oh man, some Pull Alaskan some king crab. What do, what do he want? Some deadliest yeah. cat shit. Some deadly cat shit. Or, so, yeah, I, I shit. think um, what Matt was saying, I like what Matt was saying. Because... We can get this around 15, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Our world has become great as far as delivering amazing food real quick. Beautiful. Amazing food real quick. Yes. And that's, what the, that's also one of the perks of having a little bit of money because if you well, can get amazing food going quickly with um, for a good price, then that's a medium. I think that's a medium, but I think... I like what you were saying about how you transfer basically the energy, the negative energy that you had towards something more positive, like maintaining what you have and building off what you got. Nice. Well, that's the perfect I'm just trying to help. Yeah, and, oh, that, and that was your medium. Your medium, was, try, man. I mean, your medium was to stop being so abusive with your money. I wasn't abusive. I didn't even have a chance to be abusive. No, no. We, we, we was all abusive in some type of way. Oh, to myself. You know something that you... Yeah, oh, it's I've that abused you myself. Oh, no. That's the only... That's, that's, that's the word abusive. Person. We might not think it's abusive because it's our money. Does this look like a human body? Yes, it does. It is a goddamn playground, dude. <laughs> ah, my bones didn't have... That's what I'm about to say. I was Freaking about to nice. just my say something quick this about for that. A long You're a time, dude, and I'm sorry? Uh, hell of a rock. Love, man. He yeah, like, man. He, he like he was loathing in Las Vegas. What was your medium? What made you basically say, why do you stump me all the time, Dion? You throw a curveball at me. Oh, what? No, I ain't like, ready for this one, but no, I know that's you, okay. I know you would Let me shoot from the hip. What did you say? You are trained. My bad. What, what my made bad. you be a medium? Am I a medium? Is that no, like no, a paranormal what? person? No, what? Be, yeah, a medium? What? What made you? You look similar. I'm stupid right now. For your money. Oh, what made you? Oh. Wait, what made you be become more acquainted yeah. and more smarter oh. with your money? Basically, you know what? To, to be quite honest with you, I'll just be blunt. Low it's, T. It's, it's when you have. It's <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. What did he say? Low T. Low T. What the fuck is that? Low testosterone. Low testosterone. Oh boy, I, I, I ain't got none of that, ladies. Don't listen to this fucking clown. No, 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 like, no, no. I don't even like him anymore. No, you need testosterone. It exists. Yes, it's, it's no. I got plenty of testosterone. Oh, saying, hopefully, you do. I don't even know what what, what, <laughs> what what kind of answer did I give that fucking elicited that response. I have no fucking clue. Nothing. I God damn it. Ever, didn't I? Ladies, yeah. <laughs> ladies, I know I know you're lining up outside the door right now God, on me right now, and I can't love you enough. Love this po- but I damn, love this I don't want this man to come on this podcast and scare your asses away. I got the goods for you, baby. He got the goods. You know what I mean? <laughs> you Fuck that. I mean? I'm not gonna listen now. From now on. I'm going to recognize him as 
clown. Every time. So what do you have to say, clown? Don't you? I wonder. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going totally fucking rogue. He's mad because I don't have to <laughs> my hand. Oh, look. He <laughs> says I'm mad. Look, if I'm mad, this motherfucker's angry. No, Matt. M-A-T-T. Yeah. Oh, no. I thought he said say mad. Right, huh? huh? And then. It's called yeah. Matt, not mad. My yeah, but I was... E does a play on words. Okay, E, that was my attempt to take it off the rails, and I need to hand it back to Dion before he said he was going to karate chop me. Yeah. He yeah, said it on a text. He literally did. He said, no. if you do that again, I'm going to karate yeah, chop so what, your ass. I'm, I'm going to karate chop him <laughs> and take it from here. The medium with E is what he was saying is he found a funner avenue funner. to doing... A more fun. Yeah, yeah. I, fun. I said funner. I just wanted to be. I just wanted to be quirky. But yeah, he found a more fun of an avenue to take with his yeah, money. Yeah, absolutely. And he went from being wild and reckless to just being okay with it. Me, my medium was just realizing I had a daughter and That's knowing good. that um, having a child uh, impacts oh, yeah. what what you do in your That's financial good. situation the why um oh, that's drastically well that's another second when you add yeah. a child when you yeah. add a child that's another sure. yeah yeah see a lot of yeah a lot of people I don't have kids or x y abs when you when you I would I'd have no x y I only got um one child when when you're yeah, a real you man and you add a child and you have a child to take care of yeah. it does it changes your mentality it, it changed, that's what shaped mine yeah and, and it that's helped always me. a good thing and it helped great quality right yeah it helped me it helped I want to say yeah as um it helped shape me as a man because I had to um, buckle down and realize it was certain things I couldn't do, certain things that I could. It was certain responsibilities I had to take care of and certain things that I couldn't. So now when I go into a job, I basically say, build money first, play money second. Before, it was reversed. So it made I me- I messed that up every time. See, and uh, as well as I did. And I know a whole bunch of other people did. So it, it made me respect, respecting a lot more basically respecting what you work for because what you work for can't be taken for granted because you you're working for it you're using blood sweat and tears to get what you're getting and i don't care what nobody say you should be the one to say this is the the rock that i'm finna stand on and nobody's gonna take over you know what i mean that should be basically a solid position that you should stand on what i work for is what i work for you can't take any value from that if you're not me and it's only one you, so it's no way nobody can take that. So with I, that, we're gonna spin off into the the best value. Well, I love it when you go into that awesome, like prophetic stuff, because all that shit for about the past minute that Dion just spewed out there, and I meant spewed in a great way, mm-hmm. um, was freaking prophetic, man, and real and true, and came from his heart, and I know it. Yeah, so you can't, it's, it's like basically when, when we got money, we're not saying, hey, Listen, everybody else that's not as fortunate as we are, um, oh, y'all push to the side. Don't get around. Don't get. Don't let me in with these assholes. I'm poor. Hey, <laughs> he, oh, he, I don't think I'm fucking. I'm, I'm rich in spirit. Woo! I have the money. I don't know about. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of shit. I don't. I, I, just, I don't care about either. But he just yeah. called us something that I rhymes know. with that rhymes with grass hole. What was that? Asshole. He called us asshole. But yeah, wow. he right though. He, he he's he's exactly right. He's, I, I, uh, by the, the way, I, like, I am yeah. an asshole. But go ahead. Yeah, like we everybody is poor. There's a loving way to say asshole. Absolutely, yeah. and I know you said it lovingly, yeah. and I said it jokingly, and it all it's went. A loving so, way to say asshole. Also, yeah. it's a loving way to say when you get what you get. If you got people that you grew up with, I'm telling you this. By natural resource, by natural research, I'm sorry, natural research and resources. If you, you said get, you said NASA research, natural, yeah. I oh, natural. All that. See, I by natural, that up every time. Uh, natural research. If you do well to others, I promise you, they will feel the natural impact, or they will feel the natural urge to do something well back to you. Why? Because. Money, money is material. True. People are organic. What is more important to you? Right. Material or organic? Is it something that you can hold on to forever, which right. is organic, or is it something that's going in the instant, right. which is material? Money is material. It may have some um, outstanding value to some. No, no, it's actually a, a marker of death. See. Like you said, you're true. You're, you're definitely true yeah, that, about that's that. That's definitely yeah. right. Yeah. That's a whole three-hour 
dis dissertation I'm yeah. not going to fuck with right now. Yeah. yeah. But like Matt said, it, it's, it's that's a death marker. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first four syllable word on our podcast. Woo. Dissertation. Boom. Bingo. He nailed it. I already know what it is. Matt nailed but, it. Like Matt was saying, it can be <laughs> a beacon of death. I would have said disamament, but I'm not a feminist. Well, I would have said disestablishment. Uh, dis dis dissertation. Sorry. Well, I would have said disestablishmentarianism, <laughs> but. <laughs> Disestablishmentarianism is like way too much for this mess. Can you see well, we got and, no anti-disestablishmentarianism. Is that a UFO? It's pretty good. That's a UFO. Woo! But we got we got smart it's, people watching the podcast, so it's, it, it's people do. that know, it's people that know what we're talking about. But we they got, also know we got they, Dion's dad, which I'm going to give a shout out right now. Yeah, Love you, man. My dad. I had my first banter with Love you. My we dad, we man. said hey to each other. Yes, we did. Love my That's dad, awesome, yeah. baby. Shout out to the creator that gave me this this big mind and this big head, or oh, half, half of it, Mr. Curtis. Yes, Mr. Clarence Curtis Howell. Yes, sir. Clarence Curtis. You know what? He sounds like a blues singer or something. Thank oh, you, who, who, no, who is that? Clarence C. Howell. Yes. Who is that guy Brilliant. that sings that song? Stroking. I mean, stroking. Dun, 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 dun. It That's almost sounds like doing. Clarence C. Howell. Oh. It's like a different dude. I'm gonna have to Google that shit. Yeah, it's something. I I know. My dad. My dad gonna mention it in it. He's super. Uh, he smart. knows the song Stroking. I know. Yeah, he a hundred percent smart. Damn it, man. So he gonna he gonna say it in the title. He gonna <laughs> say it in the, in the comments somewhere. But yeah, yeah. shout out to you, Dad. Love you. Thank you for the inspiration. And I'm gonna keep going just because I'm part of your son. And this is what we do. He's actually good at you know it. Man. Man. He's actually so, real good at it. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, yeah, y'all. In the in the whole wrap up, in the essence of of what we talking about, money is material. People are organic. Hold your morals and things that are organic closer to you than you hold materials. Because this shirt could burn Absolutely. up. Absolutely. But my loyalty to my brothers and my friends right here, and we're it loyal. Won't burn man. Up. We're yeah, loyal. It won't burn up. You can't burn that up. And I don't I don't care how many people try to take it or do something with it. Me, uh. Like I was saying before, you gotta have a mountain, mountain type strength when it comes to your morals. Me, I'm, when it comes to loyalty for my family and my friends, it, it has to be mountain like. It has to, it, it can't move, it can't shake, it can't falter through the weather, storms. It's mountains that survive volcanic eruptions. They still there. It's mountains that survive um, thousands of years of snow. Still there. Deep, yeah, yeah, that's how I gotta do it. Cause you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like to um bring, I don't like to bring fl the fluff to people. Fuck fluff. What's, yeah, what's I'm up? not, I'm not a, I'm not a fluff person, and I'm, I'm more intelligent than um what's portrayed out here to some. So I'm, I'm trying to sew the sum. I was trying to see. This is my first time in here. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I, we did. Yeah, you will see the podcast, bro. If you watch enough of them, we. This is what we do. I try to go off. Watch, it's got to be black, man. Watch <laughs> the Hey, man. Okay, y'all. With that being said, we we are going to halfway end this. We, we're going to end this, man. It's not even a real orange. Don't yeah, be man. Yeah, don't get he over here looking like that thing. He's allergic to oranges, so if they actually put an orange fucking I can't drink and I can't breathe. This is I, fucked up. Yeah, take that off. Oh, no, take what, that I, for your dad. what I want you to do is this is the oldest gag in the world and nobody does it anymore. Don't rip the tape. I want you to take the edge and, rip and the just tape off. yank that son of a bitch. Do it. Don't knock your beer over on your computer. Just yank it. <laughs> Never had that done before in my whole life. That's yeah, awesome. See, that's called a bingo. Y'all see what we doing in that podcast? Woo! That's a good you see, That's a good you see, wax. Dion edited that. Wax. You know what? I didn't put it on myself. Dion put it on me. He was trying to shut me up. And you know why he did it? He did it for Phoenix Linda for hashtag Eric Shut Up. We're going to make that a thing now, y'all. So, we, we, I need y'all to do three things from before we totally end this podcast. Because we're going to do, for one, we're going to do the Eric's. Eric. All in. Plural? We're going to do the Eric's all in. Yeah, That's yeah. the thing now, y'all. I say it hands in the middle. Hands Eric, in the middle. Yeah, hands That's in the middle. That's what it is. We Eric's always hand in the middle, y'all. That's right. Hands in the middle. Bow. Bingo. You Jeez. got that. Mm -hmm. My last. I right. also want to start a thing. Sorry. Beside him burping. I all also right. want to start a... Should have kept that final, tape on, Dion. No. Final word. Thank y'all for joining us. Do you need a tampon? 
<laughs> Thank that was, that in wasn't here. funny. That was the first unfunny <laughs> thing you said, Matt. You know, quit while you're ahead, brother. I thought you said tan. <laughs> he said he said he likes looking at the tan lines on my ass. I Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Tanny. I don't know about this cat. Final word. We love y'all. Share this video along with subscribing. That shit hurt, Dion. I'm sorry. Hitting the bell and leaving the comment. Then y'all can tell us about how goofy we is and all that good stuff. Dion, so, gave, me, Dion gave me a Brazilian just woo! about freaking like Silly. 30 That's seconds Kentucky. ago. A Kentuckian. God almighty. <laughs> That's so it. I feel, feel the stain. If he, be out, if he send me $10, I'll get him drunk enough. He throws a mullet for next time. He's stinging, I'm blinging. We out.